Hi there. In this lesson, I will teach you how to implement protected Wout with Windows Toolkit. Suppose that I want to go to an admin Wout. Let's say, um, let's choose to create product. Okay. So as you can see, it redirect me automatically to sign in. This is what I'm going to teach you in this video. Without wasting time, let's begin. Now, in our code editor, what is a protected route? A protected route is a route that you should be authenticated and depend on the case, you should have a certain privilege to access it. Before creating a protected route, we need to um, sign in, first of all, with, with Oxel Kit so that um, the user information will be available on the store. Okay. So to do so, let's go to Windows folder and add a new Windows file. Let's name it um, user user.js and uh, add some space, export um, course, course uh, um, user reducer. Okay, so we will use our function as always. And uh, user reducer accept two parameter, accept the state, and action okay and in the state um we're gonna have user as a empty object okay and we're gonna have our condition switch case um, statement so in the default we're gonna return um, return um, the state okay so um, here we're gonna have um, action that type and um, in the first case we want to have um, uh, user requests in the user request we will return uh, the state we'll return the state loading true and user empty object okay so in the second case I want to return uh, user success so user success will return the state of spot operator or loading false user action that payload. So this is this represent the data. Okay, it's success action that payload that success. Remember, you can create whatever state and we can you can return whatever um, whatever thing you want to return. Okay, so uh, that may fit your need. Okay, and the third case. Um, Um, user fail, return the state, loading false, and error action that payload. And finally, if you want, you can reset. Okay, and uh, in the user reset, you, you return an empty object. Okay, and uh, the default return state. And now uh, let's bring um, let's bring uh, the constant. Okay, from uh, um, the constants folder user fail, user request, user reset, user success, and save. Now, the second step is to create um, user action. Okay, so let's go to um, action folder. Uh, let's name it uh, user action. That, uh, that JS. Okay, so um uh, export false um sign in user okay so we will have uh, async and we will then find the option so we will have here touch and uh, here we will receive the user object. Okay, so um, from now, um, let's add try catch block, try catch block. And uh, in the try catch block, let's uh, dispatch the, let's dispatch the user request. After that, um, let's um, uh, bring Axio. Okay, to make a post request 
and the uh, user object that we receive will pass here in the post request okay and uh, after that we will have to use uh, to set it in the local storage so that if we refresh the page um, the user will stay on the page if this is a protected route okay so we will you will see that in a while okay so uh, local storage that set item um, login user you can name it whatever you want json that stringify and we pass the data and after that let's dispatch the user success okay so uh, dispatch user success and payload receive uh, the data and if we have errors so we will um, um, pass it here so uh, we need to bring uh, axel because we have axel here and let's bring the constants okay and uh, get some space and save so after this step we're gonna import um user reducer um in uh, the reducers folder and uh, we need to bring it in the reducer store the combine um reducers Okay, like so so we name it login user and we pass user producer and save another thing i want to show you remember when we set up uh, if you're watching this video uh, at the beginning or if not you can uh, go back in this series remember we set up initial state and we pass it here so for our initial state we're gonna make some initial state we're gonna pass login user okay this login user uh the initial value will be local storage that get item remember we name it um login user so we're gonna test it so if it exists okay so we're gonna um pass it json that pass local storage that get item okay else we will return an empty object okay so if you want you can return null so um, it's up to you and save after this step let's create a sign-in page in the sign-in page we have nothing to fancy for example we have our form okay uh, this is our form and our form has an unsubmit um, event that we pass login user the login user uh, we pass the event, it prevent the default, and we dispatch, I mean, uh, the single user in which we pass email and password, okay? And uh, to use dispatch, we have to import, I mean, the use dispatch hook, and we store it in dispatch um, variable, okay? And we create to state, okay, email and password, uh, which is obviously we need to... Um, use the use state hook okay and we need to import as we are using uh we here we dispatch this action so we need to bring the i mean the sign in user action from action that um, for slash user action and save okay so um as you can see um on change set email either target that value okay and we made it a uh, control component we pass the value email and um, same thing for um, password okay so uh, this is it before giving a try so let's add a new route so let's add uh, um, this route user for slash user for slash sign in that will accept the um, sign in page here okay and save now in the sign in page so uh, as you can see on the right side we have login user as default value um empty object in the you know docs okay table so here let's try to sign in okay and uh, password okay log in so as you can see guys and girls you see in the um Wudox, um in the Wudox, uh, table we have um login user loading false user success name admin world one so we return only the necessary information okay because this is saved in local storage so if you try to 
of Willowed, I will show you. So um, we will load our page and as you can see, it's still there. So with this information, we're going to um, implement the protected route. So let's go back in our code editor. Finally, in a component, we're going to create an admin route. Okay, and we import um, use selector, use um, navigate from React Wild DOM. And uh, as you can see, we use children prop. Okay, so um, we extract um, the login user. Okay, as you can see in the state, uh, let me show you login user, and it has a default value here. And uh, so we um, create a non variable called login user. And uh, we select the, the state that I have just um, showed you. And from the login user, we extract, I mean, the user role. For example, if this is true and we have role equal is identical to one because one is for admin and we pass the children, else we want to navigate to uh, this user to the sign in page. And uh, we save. So now to apply this, what we're gonna do in uh, the app uh, that uh, uh, JS where we have all our routes, we're gonna bring. Um, I mean, uh, we're gonna import the admin route, okay? So like so in component, and to do so, we're gonna wrap. I mean, any element that we want to. Uh, any page that you want to protect. For example, uh, to create a product, you need to be, I mean, uh, an admin. So, so uh, check this, and we pass here, and this one we're gonna cut, cut it and paste it in between. Okay. So if you are not authenticated and you are not an admin user, you can access this one. And the same thing for, I mean, um, the same thing for um, this product. And as you can see, we have all the admin work are protected and saved. So now um, let me go back in the home page to give a try. So go back to our um, browser and uh, let's try to go to create a new product. Okay, remember, uh, create a new product is an admin mod and admin. Okay, let's go to create a new product. As you can see, um, we are in the admin page because our role is one. Is we have um, in the login user we have our information. Okay, but um, as I save it in the local storage, let me remove it for you. Um, let's go back to, I'm gonna show you something, application and local storage. So here, I'm gonna remove it manually just to show you. Okay, and uh, now uh, let me go back. Okay, and let's go back again to, to create a new product in the admin uh, world, okay? And nope, you can create a new product. You can go to this page. So that's what um, uh, I wanna teach you in this lesson. I hope you learned something. So if you have a question, please drop it in the comment section. And uh, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and share it to your friends so that more people can watch our video. So from that being said, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.